Hi, this is Catherine Weathersby, and today I'm here to talk to you about my new course and training on how to start your own moving business. So when I say moving, I'm talking about household moving. So let's talk about some statistics. Yuhan has done a trend study and determined that Houston ranks number one in the U.S. destination as far as move moving. So Houston is the number one destination city according to the latest U-Haul Migration Trends Report. Houston saw a 5% year-over-year increase in one-way U-Haul trucks arrivals in 2017 to maintain its status as the busiest locale for incoming traffic among do-it-yourselfers. So if that is the case, imagine how many people are moving across the country. So then I went and I looked at Melissa, which is a website, answers a whole lot of questions about different topics. And Melissa has indicated that new homeowners represent an enormous profit opportunity for local businesses. On average, about 41 million Americans move each year. So imagine that, that 41 million people are moving each year. So if you're looking and wondering how you can monetize um, your transportation business, <clears throat> moving is a very lucrative model. So let's talk about our entrepreneur mentality and how entrepreneurs fare in generating income. So if we look at entrepreneurs, one in every thousand entrepreneurs becomes a millionaire at some point. I'll say that again. One in one thousand entrepreneurs become millionaires. But if you have a lottery mentality, and you know what the lotto is because it just hit a record high and a lot of people were lining up in different stores to buy tickets. One in one million people playing lotto become millionaires. And usually within two to three years, they're broke. So let's say that again. One in one million people playing the lotto become millionaires. But one in 1,000 entrepreneurs through selling a service, or a product become millionaires. So when it comes to skill sets, and I talk about this on the page that I created that you can come and enroll in the course, I talk about sales and marketing. Sales and marketing is a skill set that you need in order to be successful as an entrepreneur. Everybody should know how to sell, market, and close. Or shall I say sell, close, and market. Because if you don't market your business, if you don't know how to sell a product or service, you will, you know, have, you have to work because you don't have any other skill sets that you can use to never be broke. So if you can sell, market, and close, you will never be broke. So those are skill sets that everybody needs to have because we buy something practically every day. You're either buying fuel for your car you're buying, you know, essentials uh, for your household. You're buying food, medicine, uh, you know, um, some type of vitamin or health product. We're always 
buy. So to flip that, you need to learn how to sell clothes and you need to market. Every successful business owner has to do those things in order to succeed. <laughs> now, if you were to ask me, well, what type of income do you make in moving business? So, it varies according to, of course, where you are in the country. If you're in California, if you're in New York, if you're in Florida, if you're in Texas, if you are in Arizona. It depends on the market. The market determines what you pay for moving. Okay, So, based on the zip code, if you're doing local moves, it depends on the zip codes that you're going to and from. So because I'm in Houston, I'm going to use that as an example. Sometimes a move can be a distance of 30 miles, sometimes more, sometimes less. So you basically have to look at what, first of all, what you're moving, where it's going and where it's coming from. And then you have to look at what it is. So is it going to fill up a small truck? Is it a apartment size move? Is it a household move? Is it a large household move? There are factors that determine what you make. So whereas a one bedroom move may take an hour, two hours, a household move may take a full day. It just depends. So, a commercial move is like an office, a restaurant, and if you look at the picture, you will see that one of the movers is moving a cooler, and it's a commercial cooler. And he has to take that cooler, which is probably, uh, I say, 2,000 pounds, and physically move that cooler from the business to the truck and then drop it off at the next location which was a restaurant and take it inside so in the bottom picture you will see that this is a household move so this is bedroom furniture and that's going to an apartment okay so depending on what you're what you're doing and who you're doing it for will determine you know what the cost is now in the course i'm going to share with you how to determine your rate for your business how to brand the business i will generate a website for you for your business i will also teach you how to sell on the phone so you have to have skill sets and be able to put those skill sets in an order so that you can brand, you can sell, you can close, and so that you can also sell other services around your moving business. So when you say to me, well, what? What do you mean? Well, we talked about the service. The service is the actual service of moving. But then there's another piece, and that's called products. So it doesn't have to be a service or a product. It can be a service and a product. So here's an example of what I mean. So what you would want to do is set up your own store. And this is within Amazon. So, of course, when people move, you're going to need markers to, you know, place on the boxes, what room the boxes go in. Um, or you can use labels, as you see, it's color-coded here. Kitchen, utility room, bedroom, bathroom, master bedroom. So, I mean, there's just a variety of products that are available that you can sell on the website and have people come shop. And that is another stream of income. And so we're going to talk about, you know, streams of income. When you're doing a, a, a business, 
you can have, um, you know, products around that business that will help your bottom line. So these are just some of the items that um, are in our store. Okay, wardrobe boxes, moving boxes of all kinds, variety packs, wardrobe boxes, TV boxes, art boxes, uh, mirror boxes, shrink wrap, bubble wrap, just, you know, products that people are going to have to use uh, to move. So this is the way uh, newsprint for packing. This is the way that you put products around your service. Okay. So a lot of people don't understand that every business has a built-in market around it. Okay, a built-in store, a built-in e-commerce opportunity, a built-in, you know, Shopify, uh, Amazon experience. So this is the reason that you definitely need an expert because there are so many aspects of how you can monetize your service. And it's not just one thing. It You can build an entire um, you know, um, I should say, store concept around what you're doing. So we're going to go back to U-Haul and we're going to look at this. So this U-Haul, of course, we know is do-it-yourself. Okay? So what type of business model could you make money with based on people doing it themselves? So do-it-yourselfers who rent trucks. One of the ways is you could load the truck or unload the truck. So say the person rents the truck and they live in Minneapolis and they're moving to Houston. When they get to Houston, nine times out of ten, they're not going to want to unload a truck, especially if they hired a mover in Minneapolis to load the U-Haul. When they get to their destination, they're going to need help. And that's where you could come in and unload the truck and make money, okay? So, and not only are you utilizing, um, you know, labor, but you're also... Um, become very important to the customer because you're providing, first of all, service, and then you're providing, um, you know, support for them, customer service. You're, you know, you're giving them a, like a welcome environment when they're coming into a new city. And so you're providing a service that's needed at the time that they need it. So that's, you know, that's like time critical. You 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 have someone who comes into town and they call you you know either when they're on the road before they leave and they let you know that they'll be arriving in your city on x day and they need a person there at that time and so you're providing you know um a service and that could be on a major holiday that they're coming in they could be coming in during the week weekend and so we get into, you know, things like rates. Well, what do you charge Monday through Friday versus Saturday and Sunday? Because Saturday and Sunday are very critical times in the moving industry because a lot of times people want to move when they're off work. And so the weekends are very, um, you know, they're very busy. And so you have to have uh, different rates so that people understand that the weekend is different than weekday. A lot of times people say, well, which day is the, you know, is the, the, le the least expensive? Monday, probably, and Tuesday are slow days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. By the time you get to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that's when business picks up. So, you know, the rates can vary on the weekends depending on your market. So these are some of the ways that you can monetize. And so, in the course, you know, you basically are going to get information that you wouldn't otherwise know. And that's the purpose of, 